time has finally come. Are we all going to get through this? Sir, if it was I can't turn back now, right, Sarah? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you're, you're out <laughs> here. If you would join me, where is Jerome? Ah, uh, here it is. We have something for you. My retirement. <laughs> 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 or maybe I'm off up here on my rocker. But Joel, this is for you. Joel said we ask the question always. You can clap. <laughs> <laughs> we ask, did he want a rocker? Or did he want something else? Because occasionally people want other things. And Joel said he wanted a rocker. He has a collection of rockers. And when he was first elected, one of the things he liked to do was to have rockin' with Joel on his porch or somewhere, and he would get eight to 10 rocking chairs out and invite neighbors to come visit with him and rock. And there might have been an adult beverage involved, right? <laughs> <laughs> Joel, we're going to have some comments when we get back up there, but we, before we start those, we did want to publicly thank you for all your service, your passion, your dedication, your commitment to the city, and to your constituents, you've got 90,000 constituents in one of the most diverse districts that we have, and you do a beautiful job of representing them all. You're not going to be replaced. You're just going to have someone new in that seat. So we appreciate all you do, and we will miss you greatly. And then you can come back up. But right now, Brian has a presentation for you from Bell Helicopter. It's a model airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> Joel, uh, this is uh, probably a little bit of a contrast to your rocking chair. You, this this will go about 340 knots, and that will go about zero, but, uh, but there you go. But uh, I'm Brian Chase on behalf of Bell Helicopter. We'd just like to thank you for your leadership on the council, and particularly your leadership on housing and economic development, uh, helping to advance uh, the city in, in growth, and helping to really secure Bell and, and cement our, our future here in in Tarrant County and Fort Worth. So thank you for everything, and we want you have this for your, your future endeavors. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. And Joel, we have one more speaker who wants to speak to you down there. Anita Horky would like to make some comments. <laughs> There's still time. No, for the next year. Okay. Good evening. My name is Anita Horky, and I live at 2732 Gordon Avenue. I didn't know if I had to do that or not. <laughs> I'm the president of the Pascal Neighborhood Association, and with me today is George Jensen, the secretary of our Neighborhood Association. And on behalf of the entire Pascal Neighborhood Association, I'd like to thank Council Member Joel Burns for his service to the City of Fort Worth and District 9, and for his support of the Pascal Neighborhood over the last seven years. During Council Member, Council Member Burns first year as our council representative, he initiated a rezoning effort that changed most of the zoning in the Pascal neighborhood from two family to single family. Seven years later, with redevelopment occurring in our area at a rapid pace, it has become clear that our single family zoning is working to keep the integrity of our neighborhood intact. Given what has occurred in neighborhoods all around ours, we think the Pascal neighborhood would look very different today if we had not rezoned. And Joel, we appreciate your leadership that made the rezoning possible. Council Member Burns also supported the Pascal neighborhood in a variety of other ways. During his tenure on City Council, he attended several Pascal Neighborhood Association meetings and events, including a walking town hall through our neighborhood last spring. He helped us get some needed stop signs to make our streets safer. He made himself accessible to our residents, and he facilitated communication between the Neighborhood Association and others when needed. I also think it's worth mentioning that he hired fantastic aides whom he empowered to provide exceptional service. Council Member Burns never treated the Pascal neighborhood like a small neighborhood that doesn't matter. And for that, Joel, we thank you. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for making time for us. And thank you for advocating for us. We wish you the best. <laughs> I'm going to 
Are you we done with that? Up. I'm going to come back up to make my comments. You can make your comments, and we'll allow council to follow in behind you with their comments. Well, Mayor, thank you, and uh, thank, thank everyone who's here today, and, and uh, part of the well-wishing, it was great to get to visit with people out in the reception area. I will note that I heard a couple of people making a wager on how long it would take me before I cried, and I think that I'm going to, hopefully, uh, none of you will make any money off of your, your bets. Um, yeah, uh, apparently my council, council colleagues were some of those making the bets. I'm not sure who... <laughs> I'm not sure who actually was taking the wagers on this because I think you were all betting in the same direction. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and my, my council colleagues um, uh, for, for the gift of the rocking chair. It will uh, go to good use at some point as I uh, nervously uh, read hundreds of pages in the coming uh, months that I'll, I'm up in every night that I'm up in uh, Harvard and Cambridge. Um, and these are, are nice gifts, but I will tell you that the nicest gift that I have received in my seven years that I've been doing this, uh, six and a half on council plus the half year that we were running for this office, um, has been the people that I have come in contact with. They are indeed the, the best gift I could have ever asked for. J.D. and I were talking uh, the other night and he reminded me uh, that when I would go speak at neighborhood association meetings and things like that early on in my service, I would frequently say that the, the best thing that I get from the, uh, the service that uh, comes with not a lot of pay and comes with a lot of hours taken away from family and taken away from our business businesses uh, and taken away from, uh, you know, just the ability to know what TV shows are on these days. I have no idea. Um, is that we get to meet amazing, good people who are up to good things in their lives. And that is, um, as I would say, uh, the, the, the best gift that I could have gotten. Um, and, and I don't mean, you know, the people, the fancy people that I've met. I don't mean, you know, the, the Ellen DeGeneres or the Matt Lauer or the president and the first lady. And I've met some pretty awesome people in the course of, of my seven years in office. I mean the folks in your neighborhoods, the folks who are here, um, uh, who are here in, in the room tonight. Um, and it made it easy to give up the nights at home with JD, to spend time and to spend time on my business, uh, spend time with my family, my mother and father who are here tonight, thank you for coming. And also, uh, any of you who follow on Facebook, I got a couple of those, um, <laughs> might know that for a year we were very blessed to have two foreign exchange students who were sophomores at Pascal High School. Um, the folks who were then sophomores at Pascal graduated from Pascal a couple of weeks ago, and one of our uh, foreign exchange kids, uh, Jacob, came over from Germany. He's with us for a month, and he got to go to the graduation, and he's also uh, here with JD there in the audience. Um, uh, but anyway, I, I was able to give up that time with, with family, with uh, time doing my work, uh, because I was inspired by those people who gave of their time uh, in service, uh, whether they were a neighborhood newsletter editor or a PTA dad, um, or also even a city employee. And there's a lot of dedicated city employees in this room tonight and elsewhere in this building who probably have given up tracking the number of overtime hours that they have, and they keep coming back and doing their work uh, because they're dedicated to the city, and I want to acknowledge them. Um, th these type of speeches, like I'm giving tonight, are typically victory laps. They're an opportunity for me to give you a litany of things that I've accomplished in my six and a half years uh, of serving uh, on the city council. And while there are many things that I am incredibly proud of that uh, I've helped to accomplish in the course of my time here, um, I most want to thank those of you, those bright, generous people who are up to good things, as I mentioned, who have inspired me to serve over the years. I want to thank the folks who I met uh, when I served on the Landmarks Commission in Fairmount and on the Zoning Commission in, in Worth Heights when we worked to rezone their neighborhood. And since I've been on council in Pascal and other neighborhoods like that, I wanna thank the Anita Horkies of the world who the first time we met, she challenged me on something I had said while campaigning. And she kind of stuck it to me on, on, on her <laughs> thoughts on that. And it was the beginning of a wonderful partnership and friendship that's lasted seven years. Um, I want to thank um, the folks who helped me put together the first ever uh, community garden, Susan Harper and others in Fairmount. I want to thank Charlotte Smith, uh, neighborhood president in North Greenbrier, when we started working on pulling uh, the fire and police headquarters and training academies uh, into uh, adjacent to her neighborhood. I want to thank 
I want to thank the folks who supported the Forest Park Road Diet, and I want to thank the folks who opposed the Forest Park Road Diet. You certainly made it an interesting two and a half years serving on city council de dealing with that issue, but I think everyone brought to the table um, a, a diversity of opinion, and that made the process all the much better. I want to thank the, the Fernando and Roberta Floreses of the world who have been uh, stalwarts for Mobile Summer Rec uh, with the, our friends at Fort Worth South, uh, something that I'm, I'm very passionate about and I hope will continue in the years to come. I want to thank uh, city staff like our city secretary and the other others in the city secretary office and before her, Marty, and, and also uh, Michelle in helping to make our government more open and transparent in the work that they do. I want to thank you, Mayor. You have been uh, not only a friend, but you've been an incredible advocate for uh, a cause that was important to me. And in our very first meeting, I said it was one of my big priorities, and you took that to heart. And because of, of the work that we were able to do with the Radler Foundation and with others, we were able to reopen Forest Park Pool and uh, uh, return that, that incredible gem. Um, I want to thank I want to I want to thank all of my council colleagues because they're smart, good people. We don't always agree on things. But these folks do an awesome job of representing the diversity of voices here in Fort Worth, the diversity of opinion. Because I recognize that not everyone in Fort Worth thinks like folks in District 9. And it's good to have uh, the diversity of, of this kind of representation. I want to thank uh, Sal for, and, and most people might touch on his ability to talk. I actually would like to, to touch on his heart uh, because he is incredibly passionate um, and he, his, he has a very good heart and I hope that he continues uh, his example of leadership on issues like payday lending and things like that that really impact uh, all of our citizens and I hope that he will continue uh, to, to follow his passion and his heart. I want to thank uh, former council member Chuck Silcox no one's winning on this bet thing, okay? Um, for coming and taking the time to talk to me almost every single week. This was a guy who actively campaigned against me when I was running, and yet we got to be friends. And I want to thank his successor, Zim, for continuing that tradition. I want to uh, thank Danny for always being exceptionally thoughtful in his uh, reasoning and explanation of how he votes and why he votes. Uh, one of the, just one of the best jobs of, of being incredibly mindful of explaining why he does what he does, even when we don't agree, and I always, always respect and appreciate that. Um, uh, he does a great job at making his case. I want to thank Gina for being a friend for 15 years now. We met back in junior high. <laughs> or, were you in, or were we in high school? Um, yes. I want to thank Dennis Shingleton for being unsuccessful in his efforts to prevent the city of Fort Worth from annexing his neighborhood. <laughs> because of that failure, he's able to join us on the Fort Worth City Council as a city of Fort Worth resident. And I wanna thank him for his great humor. I wanna thank Jungus for his vision in making rail a regional priority and hopefully a regional reality. Uh, and I wanna thank Kelly for being my, my next door neighbor, both at pre-council and at council and making me laugh and if we ever laugh at the same time, it is not because we just sent a text message to each other. <laughs> She's texting me right now. Um, I want to thank Mayor Mike Moncrief, who was the mayor uh, the day I got elected and, and the very first council meeting I came to, which if you were here, it was a rather charged event, but we won't rehash that. Uh, he said that I had to be careful. Uh, in his years of serving in an elective office, he knew that uh, uh, serving could take away your health, your relationships with those you love, and your business. I will acknowledge that I've gained 40 pounds in office and my cholesterol is now 240. I shuttered my business, but thank God my husband is still with me. You're still with me, right? Um, <laughs> as long as I finish this speech in a timely manner, he'll still be, still be with me. I wanna thank all the other former council members. I wanna thank Carter Burdett for warning me that there are communists at Harvard. I'm glad to know that. He went to Harvard <laughs> Law, he should know. He was worried about that and I appreciate Carter uh, warning me in advance. Uh, and, uh, I, and, I, and anyway, I want to I again acknowledge that my uh, council colleagues represent unique perspectives that give citizens a place at the table. Um, I want to thank all the board and commission members. Uh, I see Gay Reed in the back who serves on the Zoning Commission, uh, Virginia Cluck who serves on the uh, Library Advisory Board, 
Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Mr. Ibanez, Greg Ibanez, who serves as the chair of our art commission and others, and I'm missing someone, I'm sure. Uh, I want to thank you for giving of your time. I want to thank the staff. I touched on this earlier. Um, staff, everyone from the, the planning department and law and historic preservation office who advised me from, uh, pr tried to prevent me, Fernando, from doing stupid things when I was chair of the Landmark Commission, uh, to our housing and economic development staff today that has been an incredible support uh, on the uh, housing and economic development committee that I chair, as well as all the TIF districts. Uh, I want to thank the water, the TPW, the trash, the coke guys, all the staff that we, uh, my counsel aide Catherine and I, call on a daily basis to help make unhappy people happy. They do an incredible job at that, at fielding those calls. Uh, sometimes the unhappy callers are me, and they field those calls, and so I appreciate uh, them doing that. Um, I want to thank Sarah and Susan for all the late night council meetings on gas drilling and for sticking that out. The fact that you're still City of Fort Worth employees, uh, <laughs> Kudos to both of you for that. Um, I want to thank Chief Halstead for recognizing uh, his department needed to change in some ways and taking the steps to make that change and for his leadership, being brave enough to do that. And I want to thank all of our police and firefighters who make our neighborhoods and make our homes safer and make all of us safer uh, with uh, sometimes uh, potentially sacrificing their lives in order to give us that safety. I want to thank the city management team and the city managers who did brave work and did things like give same-sex employees uh, benefits. Uh, and, I, and I want to acknowledge uh, all those uh, city managers who, who did the, the tough work. Um, Charles, Dale, uh, Tom, you've been an incredible leader. Uh, I will say that David has big shoes to fill when he uh, comes in. Um, I want to thank my council aides who kept me looking as good as they possibly could through all the years, uh, particularly uh, Catherine, who's here, and Christy Wiseman, who was my first council aide who was here earlier. I don't know if she's still here or not. Um, I didn't want to make a big long list of the things that, we've, uh, that I've accomplished in the course of these, this time, but we have accomplished a lot, and I want to thank everyone who's been part of making that happen. Um, there's been some things that I've done throughout the course of the last six and a half years that were outside of people's expectations of me, that were perceived to be bold things uh, that really wasn't part of any unwritten job description that I have. We cannot always take every risk. We cannot fix every wrong. We cannot fill every pothole. Uh, but on occasion, we can take bold action and do things outside of people's expectation, things that aren't on our job description, uh, things that, that provide leadership, that, that change people's lives. I've been given an incredible opportunity to do that in my seven years on council. Um, I had so little clue, Ed and Ann, uh, what kind of opportunity I had when I got elected in 2007, and whichever one of you uh, takes this seat, you will have amazing opportunity to do good things for the people of Fort Worth uh, and for all the citizens of District 9. When I announced my resignation in February to go spend uh, the time that I will at the Harvard Kennedy School. Uh, classes start July 16th. Uh, for those of you who follow along, you know that I've gotten a, a really spacious 11 foot wide <laughs> dorm room, uh, and I'll have 300 square feet of heaven in Cambridge, Massachusetts for the next year, but I'm sorry, I, I digress. When I mentioned that, uh, when I brought that up and during my announcement of my resignation, I mentioned uh, growing up, my mom and dad, Butch and Jeanette Burns are here, and I, I mentioned growing up on a ranch uh, that now doesn't exist anymore. It's all uh, rooftops and cul-de-sacs and Bradford pears and, and it's neighborhoods now. It's the ranch and the way of life on that ranch is gone. But on that hilltop, we could see the city lights of Fort Worth and it, it mesmerized me as a kid, this incredible power. And the city grew and it grew at an incredible rate and we're still growing at that incredible rate. This city still as a 45-year-old, still mesmerizes me. And I'm awestruck by how gracious and kind and good the people are and how hard that we work and all the good that comes in this amazing 16th largest city in America. I am proud to be from Fort Worth. And when my year at Harvard's over, I look forward to coming back here, look forward to finding out a way to pay for my amazing student loans. <laughs> and I hope someone here will hire me. Um, <laughs> 
but Fort Worth is my home. And um, I look forward to seeing the bright and shiny lights uh, that I watched as a kid when I come back. Thank you all. I know that everyone is going to want to make comments uh, for Joel and to Joel and Gina weighed in first, so I believe we'll just begin at your end, Gina, and work our way back down this way. And that way everybody won't have to weigh in. Familiar, I, I weighed in, in first and early because I didn't want to cry. But when I came on this council, there were two people I knew. Uh, one was Jungus, the other was Joel. I've known the longest. And because of Joel, I still have friendships in South Tarrant County. I heard from Chuck Rutherford just last week. Remember him? Mm -hmm. I talked to Ken Shetter frequently, and of course, Billy is still mayor of Crowley. Yep. But it was your leadership through Leadership South Tarrant County that opened those doors for those relationships. And I thank you for that. But the learning didn't stop there. When I came on this council, because I only knew two people, you would have this, this real weird way of saying things. <laughs> Sarcastic is, is the way. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, I, I, I believe what I hear. And so on one of those remarks, I looked to Jungus and I asked the question, is he serious? And Jungus winked, just watch. And I've been watching and I've been learning. And it's so important to me that you, you know that I know that it does get better. And I've seen the better for Joel Burns for a number of years now. I can't wait to see how much better it's going to get after Harvard. And Fort Worth will be the better for it. And so my friend, thank you for always teaching. And thank you, JD, for sharing. But Joel, just know that the love here is always for you in Fort Worth, but now the rest of the, way, of the nation will see how it's going to get better. So thank you for your service. Thank you. Sal? Joel, well done, sir. You've been an outstanding representative uh, elected from District 9 for the entire city. I've learned one valuable lesson while I've been on the council working with Joel. Don't pick a fight with Joel on Twitter over <laughs> Fort Worth. <laughs> But no, seriously, uh, you've been a champion of Central City revitalization, urban villages. You've done an outstanding job as chairman of our Housing and Economic Development Committee. You've been a champion on infrastructure and transportation. Uh, there's a reason we've had uh, some very successful bond programs. Uh, your insistence on uh, public outreach, along with everyone else on this council, has led to some very successful bond programs in the city. I only wish that we could ride you off today in a streetcar down. Uh, downtown to the south side, but someday we'll get streetcars here, modern streetcars here in Fort Worth. Uh, but really, you have been a great representative of the city of Fort Worth, and I'm sure when you go to Harvard, there won't be communists there, <laughs> but now there will be a great Fort Worth Texan representing proudly his state and his city, making us all proud. Thank you, Joel. Dennis? Uh, Joel Burns has made significant impact on this city, his district, and the neighborhoods that he has served as councilman. Uh, Joel has personally, positively influenced me on several occasions. Um, he is a man of integrity and personal courage. Uh, it's not easy to take an unpopular stand on, on issues at, at times, in which we all have done and possibly are about to do. But uh, Joel has made his thoughts known without hesitation, without surprise, and with knowledge of forethought. Um, this openness has served him well on this council. Now it's back to college. Frat parties, keg stands. <laughs> <laughs> we as a collective body will miss his intellect and his, uh, and we know that this education will serve not only him, but the city of Fort Worth and the citizens of Texas sometime in the future. Godspeed.
Jengus. Well, first, uh, congratulations, Joel, and probably congratulations more to JD. You'll, of course, he leaves right away, doesn't he? Um, the now, not congratulations because he's leaving, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but congratulations <laughs> because he's home for a little while, I guess. I always dig the hole a little deeper. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, we've we've talked about Joel seven years on council, and and uh, I. Th before that zoning and before that land, uh, Joel's commitment to the city of Fort Worth and the citizens of Fort Worth has been a lifetime commitment. Um, I've known his family. Uh, his mom and dad went to the same church as my mom and dad for years. And um, so I've, I've known what you're made of and you've shown it on this council. And you know, we can talk uh, in politics, we can talk about the differences that exist in values, but you know what? We agreed more often than we disagreed on issues. Uh, but the thing about it was we never were disrespectful. We always worked together on the, the key issues. Um, you know, Forest Park is a, was one issue that we disagreed on, but um, maybe uh, you, you went with both sides on that one. But, um, uh, but our commitments, have been the same and we've always worked together to push this city forward and that's made the city of Fort Worth stronger, uh, made it the greatest city on earth in my opinion and I think in yours. And I just wanna say thank you for being a gentleman, being being passionate about what you do and stand for. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, and, and we can talk about diversity and all the things that this dais, at the end of the day, this council works together to push this city forward. And uh, Joel, thank you for your vision. Uh, many of the things that you've uh, envisioned for Fort Worth have come true. Um, and uh, they're here, they're, they're, and you're coming back. Um, and uh, Gina, I was afraid what you were gonna say I said, but uh, it, it was just, it was just okay, okay. <laughs> But thank you, Joel, for your commitment to Fort Worth and, and what you've accomplished. And we look forward to seeing you back here in the near 11 months, 12 months. 11 months. 11 With months. a student loan. <laughs> <laughs> With the honors list, though. We expect straight A's, right, J.D.? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. It's been an honor. Thank you. Kelly? So are you going to cry now? I'm going to try not to. <laughs> Here, so, someone was presuming. <laughs> when I first came to council two years ago, Joel was the very first person who greeted me with a really warm smile and a hug. And that meant a lot to me because my race had been a very contentious race. And everything that led up to me coming to council uh, those two weeks with everything happening um, had been really, really hard for me and I wasn't really sure how I was going to be accepted at this dais until I saw Joel and he hugged me and I knew it was going to be okay and I cannot believe I am about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wanted that. <laughs> but Joel, in these two years, Joel has laughed with me in some times when I thought I was just not going to make it through a vote. Uh, and he just kept saying, be true to who you are. Be true to who you are. You are a trustee. You are not a delegate. And that's what you taught me. You don't remember that, do I do you? remember that. And, and he said that over and over. And I take that with me. And I appreciate it every single day. Because right now, I'm in a really tough situation. And I keep saying, I am a trustee, damn it. <laughs> a delegate. You know, my friend taught me that. And I and I appreciate that. And I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I mean that. And and so Joel and I have traveled together. He got sick. We found out about it on Facebook. You know, you're like, who does that? But Joel does that. Um, I do too much on Facebook. <laughs> but I, I just appreciate. I appreciate the friendship. I appreciate the texts that have that have us laughing. I appreciate the love that we share. And and I am going to miss you from the very bottom of my heart. But I have four things that I want to say. I want to say this is Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. 
it, hashtag <laughs> Fort Worth based. Yes. <laughs> hashtag it's not okay. And more importantly, hashtag keep it sexy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to let that stay an inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> Mr. Zimmerman? Are you going to cry again? Please do. I'll pay you whatever I got. <laughs> Your money's safe. <laughs> Joel, I think today you've heard from uh, all but one council member, and uh, we're saving Danny for last because he does a great job of, of expression. <laughs> uh, and then I'm sure the mayor is going to wrap up by roasting you pretty good. Uh, when I first came on the council, uh, I didn't know what to expect. I was a lot like uh, our friend Kelly. Uh, and until Dennis showed up on the council, you were kind of the leader of the council in surprises. No, we didn't always agree. But I really admired the passion and the courage of your convictions. There was no doubt that when you took a stand, <coughs> you had thought it through, and you believed that that was the right thing to go do. What impressed me more than anything else, though, was your insight in what I consider to be a very young age. I think that uh, we all agree that uh, there are bigger things ahead for you. Uh, I've enjoyed our quiet one-on-ones, and. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, working with you, and I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Mr. Scarth? Well, first of all, I'm shocked to learn that we didn't always agree. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I tell you, you know, Joel, you have been through um, a lot of things in your life. And just a, an example uh, of, of, you know, getting <clears throat> The way I got to know your family was was at your brother's funeral and through that process. And I saw a really powerful and strong family uh, with a lot of love. And so that explained a lot about you, to know where you came from. Um, but, but you know, kind of like, like scissors that cross each other, the blades cross, and they just continually sharpen because they're working. Um, that kind of thing, those tough things, can, can make you sharper, can make you stronger, can make you more efficient. To make you work better and so I think that you've you know the background the things that you've been through have created the person that you are and it was a really kind of a funny example and, and Joel knows he'll know exactly what I'm talking about we were interviewing city manager candidates <laughs> and I tried to ask a question to sort of get to the heart of some of our candidates and I asked him what in your background has made you who you are what you are and the truth is and I looked at Joel and I could see I, instantly he knew what I was talking about um, and most of them were clueless, honestly. They didn't know. They, 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 they gave us answers that were, well, you know, when I was at the city of so-and-so, we did this project. Like, no, 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 you're just not getting it. That is not, I'm trying to find out what makes you you. What, you know, when all else fails, what core do you go to to make a decision? And they didn't get it, most of them. But I knew you did, just from looking across the table. And, uh, and so that, I think that is, um, you know, outside of your uncanny ability to create heat on Facebook or Twitter or whatever all that hashtag stuff is, um, I, I, I think your ability to, to draw down on what, you know, your, your family that's sitting here, the experiences that you've had, uh, your relationships with JD and others, and just those things uh, is what will make you successful at Harvard and, and whatever endeavors that you have after that. Uh, and I really respect that. Thank you. Thanks. So Joel, I had the privilege of introducing you at Rodia, at Rodia, at Rotary <laughs> last Friday, and it was great hearing you recant your story again. And I really enjoyed that opportunity. I made the comment then that what I particularly like about Joel is his passion, his dedication, his visionary, and his intelligence. But mostly, it's his commitment to the ones that he loves. And there are a lot of people who love you, Joel. A lot of people are passionate about you, and a lot of people have learned to be very passionate about you because of your caring insight and what you do for Fort Worth. You know, we're not always on the same page. None of us are. You're a little more left, and I'm a little more right. But when it comes to Fort Worth, 
You've got Fort Worth's best interest at heart. You've been incredible to work with. I've been very blessed for nearly three years to have the opportunity to work with you to really see what a fine man you are. And I'd say young man, because like Zim, I think you're pretty darn young. You know, during the campaign, we had uh, lunch at Tavernas one day. And I, Joel shook hands, and I said, Joel, you're going to have to understand I'm a hugger. He said, I'm fine with that if you'll give me a hug and not a shoulder bump. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. It's okay. <laughs> Mike could be watching. Shoulder bumps are okay. They're okay for certain things. But he's, he's truly been very kind about, you know, holding to that. I just, it just means a lot that you appreciate that. You know, Joel may be the Weather Channel's worst nightmare, <laughs> but he's one of our dearest friends here. And I really have found a great partner, most of us have, in your customer service initiatives, your intent to get better communication, open and transparency. We've all worked hard on that, and you've been one of the keys to push forward with that. You were instrumental in the selection of the, the new city manager, great questioning, I know that you'll be back to Fort Worth, and we want a, God to bless you while you're on your journey, but don't come back late. Okay, <laughs> I, I won't. And I, I just want to uh, underscore how appreciative I am uh, to, to all of you. You are a family. I'm, I'm appreciative to uh, my, my given family, the, the family that God gave me, uh, and my mother and father, uh, and those that I've chosen along the way, uh, Taylor, Jacob, others. Uh, and uh, JD, uh, I, I can't, I can't thank you enough for giving me this opportunity. This uh, no, yeah. I'm not no. Just <laughs> 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 No, I'm not there. Yet. Not a drop. Not a drop. <laughs> we can stop it with the dollar. I, 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 I want to underscore. Uh, JD sacrificed a lot. <laughs> in allowing me to serve uh, financially, uh, time with me, uh, all, all sorts of things. And I can't end tonight without uh, further underscoring, I couldn't have done this and I couldn't do what I'm doing next uh, without his unwavering support. Uh, we have been married 21 years and I cannot imagine how crappy my life would be if you weren't married to me. So I, I thank you. Thank you, Joel.